Oh boy, oh boy, it's that time again. Hello everybody, this is Alice the Dragon coming to you with another episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And I've got Bella over there just making a face at me because I just started talking out of nowhere and she does not know what's going on. But that's all right. She's still great company. I love my little dog. She's, she's very unique in that she is a Cocker Spaniel yellow lab mix. At least that's what we're thinking she is. And so she's, she's got the Cocker Spaniel face on a yellow lab body and she's so small she looks like just a yellow lab puppy <laughs> and it's uh people you know come up to me all the time and like oh what a cute puppy and i'm like can you believe she's seven years old they're like no yes level two gotta love that first level up yeah come come at me I'm not afraid of your rocks, but I do want to pick them up. Oh yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't selected my stuff yet, have I? Dodging and stealth. Do I want? To, like, I'll, I'll, I'll let throwing just ride at this point. I've got some stones, so I'm just gonna start chucking them. Boom, boom. Ooh, actually, do I want to switch to sling right away? That might not be a bad idea. Nice, and it's already set to B. So now I can just swap back and forth whenever I need to by hitting the, uh, what is that, an apostrophe? Yeah, that's the apostrophe. It's the one right next to the enter key, so I believe that's an apostrophe. If you want to correct me, uh, say so in the comments. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's so weird in Dungeon Crawl how many just odd little commands that you have to look up to properly play the game. <laughs> Like, for exam example, O is the auto-explore. That's how I do all these crazy moves. Yeah, in instead of uh, instead of just like walking around with my number pad. Although I'm on a dinky laptop, it does have a number pad, and I love that very much. I was properly introduced to the number pad back when I lived in Salt Lake City and I worked as a uh, data entry person and my typing speed like I haven't measured it in the last year <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that if if I really push it um, I can easily get up to 90 if if not uh, like I, I, I may have pushed a hundred at some point. Level three! Strength, intelligence, or dexterity? Uh, strength. Got, you need that HP early on. Or, or maybe I'm just like, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm still poisoned, come on. Hobgoblin. Get out of my face! There we go. Hide in the corner again. Yeah, I don't like to be out in the open that much, but uh, oh yeah, we've still got bunches of stones. Can't forget the stones. Can't the can't forget the fact that I have a hunting sling too. Yeah. Uh. This may be a short run. If 
feel very mighty. Mighty enough to kill the snake. Whew. There we go. Feeling a lot better. Hit the worm. Oops. No, I don't want to target myself. There you are, snake. Or worm. It's moderately wounded. Yeah. Getting the, oh, an embroidered cloak. I hope it's a good one. Get rid of this cobalt. Get that cloak. What is it? It's a plus two cloak. I like plus two cloaks, and it's a lovely black. And yeah, nothing like a black cloak to really show things off. The fact that I've got a red jock strap on. Like. Uh, I, I I forget. Is there a way to change your doll? Let's see. What was it? Was it carrot? No. I'm, no, that's the religion thing. No, that's control. Uh, that is my stats. Good, good for you to see, though. Uh... That's the money I have. Just dumped stuff. Uh, oh well. I, I, I may figure it out event. Oh, there we go. It was the minus key. Now I can remember that for later. Alright, let's... Oh, I was already on, on the female build. Okay then. Too bad I can't uh, change my base color. Could could cheat and give myself wings. Hey, eh. you know I can I can choose my head. That's the closest I've got to silver. You know that that could work. That, that could actually work fairly good. Hair? What? Doesn't show up as anything. That's because draconians don't grow hair. Okay, I'm spending way too much time on this. Uh, da -da -da. Alright, confirm... Oh, oh, wait. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Go around naked. I want... Heh. <laughs> Skirts. Ooh, let's, let's do these chains. There we go. I, I... I like... Alright. So... Uh... How do I get out of this again? There we go. Yay! Lo looking, looking good. Looking like myself. This is this is nice. And it's just gonna be my chest that changes. Find it amusing that uh, you know while the while it's clear there's a difference between the males and females in draconian society just in terms of bulk. I don't have the boobies. So I don't know. I mean, it's it's uh Well I guess it makes sense. They are lizards. They wouldn't they wouldn't feed their hatchlings with milk. Uh, that's that's a mammal thing. One of my favorite parts about being a mammal, but yeah, there you go. Ooh, yellow boots. Looks kind of snappy. Okay, let's keep going. Get the rat. I'm a bad shot. Broke both of those stones. Okay, just come at me, brah. Natasha! Just die, die, die. 
fighting skill to level four. I wonder if I should start uh, reading you the uh, the descriptions of the bosses. You know that might actually make for entertaining content. Ooh, get, ah, ah, ah. There we go. Oof. Got him. Let's uh, rest up. Hop gob. Reminds me of. Uh, oop, let, let's uh, let's do that that thing I was gonna do. Okay, let's take a look at Grinder. Grinder is an inefficient shadow imp, previously employed as a torturer in one of the lower circles of hell. She has a tendency to complain and make inane statements. Well, uh, let's let's make her make statements no more. Ooh. All right. Just keep throwing those rocks. Level five and level six. Damn, I I, I skipped a I skipped a level. That's nice. So let's get some more strength. Keep going. Kill the snake. Kill the snake. What is it? That's that snake stomping day. Oop, there's Natasha again. Actually, let's take a look at Natasha. Servant of life and death. A magical cat. Once a powerful wizard's familiar, Natasha has abandoned after was abandoned after her master was consumed by the very necromatic forces he sought to control. Now she patrols the dungeon, taking a bloody vengeance with spell and oops, spell and claw upon any adventurer who crosses her path. This cat doesn't have nine lives, but just one death isn't going to be enough to put her down for good. Which is sometimes not true. <laughs> right, let's get to a safer spot. Natasha is still moderately wounded. Natasha stares at you and mumbles some strange words. Yep. More strange words. Magic dart. Okay. Yeah. Slings level one. Okay, rest up, get the sling out, kill the snake, kill the snake. I said kill the snake, kill the kobold. And he's got, oh, <laughs> cur curare darts. Oh boy. Those are actually rather nasty. It might be worth it to, uh, to grab that blowgun and the curare darts. You know what? Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. I think that that uses throwing. So I'm just gonna keep throwing stones for a while unless I see something that we really should use the darts on. Like say, not Natasha. I, I've I've been beating her butt quite a bit. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, dodging four, unarmed combat five. Very nice, very, very, very nice. Stealth is just above a three. I like how throwing and slings are just in lockstep with each other almost. 
minutes because practicing one uh, gets us the other. Well, looky here. Here is here are our first altars. Let's see. You've got Trog the Berserker. This, you know, Gozag is an interesting route to take because you can essentially summon shops. Evelion uh, is uh, recommended by a lot of people for like the healing stuff. But I want to show you the Wujian Council. The Wujian Council is a congregation of martial monks ascended to divinity after battling their way out of the afterlife. Disciples of the Council are able to execute acrobatic martial maneuvers such as wall jumps, spinning attacks, and punishing lunges. They will eventually become able to request help in the form of a storm of heavenly clouds. And, uh, let's see, the powers. Yeah, this is fun stuff. You got your lunge, where it you just close the distance. Um... Whirlwind, where you simply walk around them. And wall jump, um, if they've got you pinned against a wall, move back against it, and you essentially jump over them. So, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Now, here's a perfect time to show. See how I'm... Uh, how I'm a space away from the bat. I lunge at the bat and and uh, hurt it already. Um, unfortunately, it managed to uh, dodge out of out of the way of uh, some of it. So let's just do that again. You can do it diagonally too. Lunge at the bat, miss the bat. Lunge at the bat. Yeah, there we go. You see how uh, his health really went down there. There we go. The council accepts your kill. That, that would be something kind of cool to to hear in um, like a first person shooter. Yeah, I'm a big fan of first person shooters. I cut my teeth on the original Doom uh, with my dad actually. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah, there we go. You see how I did that back up and lunge on the worm there? That that was pretty sweet. But yeah, my my dad and I would um, you know would play Doom together, and he actually used that as a tool to teach me um, firearm safety, which um, I find incredibly valuable. Yeah, lunge, lunge. Well. Can't really lunge at if he's following me back, but you you get you get my idea. Hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, one one day um, he was like, "Listen, listen here, Alice. Yeah, you know, I, I I want you to stand right here on the map. All right. So I'm gonna stand over here. You see where I am." Um, on your screen. Now, now fire that shotgun. All right, you see how you just damaged me? <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, that, that was, that was a very Im important lesson there. And I'm glad I was able to learn it through video games instead of Ooh, he's got a flail of holy wrath. Lunge. See, um, spin attack. Um, I forget it. I forget what that mark does. Um, it doesn't really say. So I could just kind of go back and forth and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and just kill him that way. Oh, you got me in the net. Back and forth and back and forth. Kill the rat. Yeah, but holy wrath, not really worth it, in my opinion. Yeah. The wizard is engulfed in flames. 
Trog roars with satisfaction. <laughs> oh, I just read it. Flames erupt from the bowels of the of the wizard. Ooh-wee! <laughs> Talk about Ring of Fire. Um, I must have had some bad chili. 